Hello, and welcome to Shane's Microscope. I'm Shane, and this is my microscope. Let's take a peek. Today's sample comes from Birdbath S2. More time has passed, and I decided it was time for another investigation into there. Let's check it out. Under the microscope now. Oh, this looks new. It appears to be a rotifer, one of the monogonontin rotifers. Oh, looks like there's a bunch of them in here. I believe we've only ever seen these in the sample from the river. I was not expecting to see them in the bird bath. They're really going to town. We've got a couple kinds of hypo trick here. There's one of the genus Euplates, which we've seen before. I like these. These are the ones that like to crawl around on the glass with their cirri. We can see we still have plenty of tetradesmus in here. And a little cyclididae. Oh, look at this! It's a scale from a moth or a butterfly. Interesting texture on there. Yeah, that looks really neat. And here's another one. Completely different shape on this one. I'm not knowledgeable of entomology enough to gain any clues from that, but it's interesting. And I see some cysts here, but no opercularia. Here's one of the familiar hypo tricks. And over near it, we've got a couple of rotifers. I believe the one on the right might be a male of the one on the left. And I believe these to be of the genus Cephalodella, which like I said, we've seen before in the sample from the river tributary. You can see its eye spot right there. And these are voracious eaters. I saw them eating everything they could get their mouth parts on. That was some algae. Here's another piece of algae. You can see it just pulled the chloroplast right out of there. And here was one eating on a bedelloid rotifer. I believe this is a resting cyst, and you can see the mouth parts inside of it. Crazy. And a little bit disturbing. But, you know, that's 
how life is. There, this looks like a dead larva of a midge. Wouldn't you know it, these little rotifers were eating that too. I wonder if they're the reason we're not seeing any of the paratrix in here anymore. If they decided to just go into their cysts and wait for these things to leave. Well, not seeing my favorite things in here. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Now, a bright spot. I saw this Euplates here and it looked like it was starting to divide, so I kept watching it. You can see here it's further pinched in in the middle. At this point, the two cells are barely connected. I zoomed out so I could make sure not to lose it. And there you go. Alright, well, this is an interesting experiment, and we'll continue to see what happens in here. Alright, well, I think we'll leave it there for the day. Thanks for having a look with me. Until next time, keep on peeking.